Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Wednesday, August 21st, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. Fire away any questions. We'll answer them uh, as the show goes on here in the month of August. Guys, smash that like button if you're liking the content. We got 640 Eastern, 340 Pacific for our first game up. San Diego Padres hosting the Minnesota Twins. Simeon Woods Richardson on the hill for the Twins. Matt Waldron, the knuckleballer, going for the Padres. Minus 116 to as high as minus 125. That's the pods as the home favorite. Eight in the hook being the total. This is game three, wraparound game. You know, the day action on the West Coast. Minnesota coming in, what, 15 games over 500, two and a half back from the Cleveland Guardians in the AL Central. The Padres just three games back of the Dodgers, 71 and 55. And one of the hottest teams in baseball, what, 12 and three, their last 15. Now, Waldron on the hill, he's a guy we bet on a lot. If you watch the show in like May, June, he's kind of been a little bit more up and down. Some good starts of recent, some not so much. He's still got a 4-2 ERA, 127 to 39 strikeout to walk ratio, which is solid. But again, up and down recently. His last home start was good, five and two thirds, just uh, two hits given up. So we'll see if he can come back here to Petco. Got the Padres uh, circled here for him to have a, a pretty good start. He's up against Richardson for the Twins, 3-8 ERA. Something I noticed here, some home road splits. He's got a dichotomy here with the ERA a full point higher on the road and slugging percentage 110 points higher when pitching outside of Minnesota. He's up against a, a good Padres lineup. They smashed righties. They're one of the hotter lineups in baseball right now over the last two weeks. So we're going to list Matt Waldron as the starter and jump on the Padres. Low watermark heading into the overnight market, minus 116 as the home favorite in the day action in Southern California. Five minutes later, 645 Eastern here, nation's capital. Washington Nationals hosting the Colorado Rockies. Tanner Gordon on the hill for the Rocks. Mitchell Parker, the southpaw, going for the Nats. Minus 160, that's the Nationals as the home favorite. Eight in the hook being the total. Tanner Gordon here. The Rockies kind of prospect, uh, 26-year-old rookie out of Indiana. The former Hoosier has a 7 ERA on the season. He's been knocked around a little bit, but when you see the lineups he's faced, it was the Mets, you know, the Diamondbacks, the Padres in there. He, he's had a tough go of it schedule-wise. So actually, I would kind of put the Nationals as likely the, the least potent offense that he would have seen here in his MLB career. He's up against Mitchell Parker. 18 hits the last two starts, just totaling nine innings. I mean, he gave up nine earned last time out alone against the Phillies. Now, granted, that's the Phillies lineup. He's going up against the Rockies lineup outside of Coors Field. So, but still, it, 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 he's been giving up too many crooked numbers for me. I mean, the, the Nationals have lost five of six. The, the Rocks, this is game two of the series. They actually won game one. So they've won two straight now. Uh, playing a little bit better baseball overall the last month or so, talking about the Rockies. And, Hey, getting a, at least a picture where I think we could, you know, have a have an easier go of it for him in Tanner Gordon. So plus 145, it really comes down to numbers, guys. And the Nationals laying minus 160, that's just too expensive. So we're going to jump on the dog here with the Rockies barking plus 145. we got next one up heading to St. Louis. Milwaukee Brewers, St. Louis Cardinals. Tobias Myers on the hill for the Brew Crew. Kyle Gibson going for the Redbirds. Minus 110 near pick em price tag here. Eight being the total. The Brewers come in 20 games over 500. Very quietly, plus 15 units on the season. They've won now, what, six straight games? Uh, this game two of the series with the Cardinals coming in two games under 500. They're 11 games back of the Brewers. This is number one versus number two in the NL Central Division. They've now lost seven of their last eight, really fallen behind. So, uh, you know, it's the Brewers going to kind of maybe put it in cruise control here down the stretch, uh, heading to the playoffs, most likely. They got the 26-year-old rookie Tobias Myers on the hill. Six straight solid starts. If you haven't watched this guy pitch, he, he's been consistent. Sub-3 ERA on the season. And since July 10th, a lot of that in the last six starts, he has a 1.5 ERA. This guy's been lights out. 35 innings, six earned runs, 
since July 10th. So looking to bet on him. He's up against Kyle Gibson here. Great career. The 36-year-old out of Missouri. The former Tiger 4-2 ERA. I guess it's decent overall. But, but looking a little bit more under the hood here. In his last start, guys, this is something I have circled. His velocity was down to 90 miles per hour. He gave up seven runs, four home runs to the Cincinnati Reds. So now he's up against an even better lineup in the Brewers. Hey, I think the Brewers get after him here, guys. This is uh, kind of best bet material for the show. Is uh, We're going to jump on the the small barking dog. You got to lay uh, $103 to win $100. Minus 103, that's the Milwaukee Brewers listing Tobias Myers as the starter. Minus 103 over the St. Louis Cardinals. Got one game left, a short slate here, but I uh, do want to say, you know, shout out to everybody asking the questions on yesterday's show. That was a, a fun little segment there. And uh, feel free to chime in, you know, what your MLB picks are for today. I'll be in there throughout the day, uh, chopping it up with you guys. And if you're interested in premium picks, they're half off today, Wednesday, wagertalk.com. Got a 5% max limit up, a uh, game that we're not breaking down on the show. So uh, 50% off all daily packages. All right, guys. Last game up, 10-10 Eastern, 7-10 local time here. Last game on the card. It's the Seattle Mariners and the L.A. Dodgers. Jack Flaherty on the hill for the Dodgers. Logan Gilbert going for the M. Seven in the hook being the total, minus 160. That's the Dodgers as the home favorite. So low total here. You can see why. Two really good pitchers on the hill. Seattle comes in with just a couple games over 500. They have lost six of their last seven. Not playing great baseball, but Logan Gilbert, the 27-year-old out of Stetson, sub-3 ERA, 3-2 FIP, three straight quality starts. He's got 155 to 29 strikeout to walk ratio. That's one of the best out there. And I bring that up because he's up against Flaherty here. 157 to 23 is his strikeout to walk ratio. So these guys combined 312 strikeouts, 52 walks on the season. Uh, these are these are two of the better pitchers in Major League Baseball going at it. In the 28-year-old 20, Flaherty, uh, he has a three-flat ERA and FIP. Three starts with the Dodgers since being traded. He's 2-0 and record-wise. Um, and again, that strikeout-to-walk ratio, that's continued here in Los Angeles. So, guys, seeing this seven and a hook, it is a low total. I don't want to go against the Dodgers, particularly at home, 39-22, and 22 playing in uh, Chavez regime there, but the Seattle Mariners offense has just struggled so much. You know, they brought in some new pieces, but it really hasn't helped their offensive production, at least not yet. And the Dodgers lineup is still banged up. So, hey, with two good starters, I think we get two really good starts. Uh, bullpens have been pretty, pretty decent of late. So seven and a half, I don't think we get there. I think this is like two to one, three to one, something like that. Hey, pitcher's ballpark at night, West Coast, three to one, it likely finishes. Let's go under seven in the hook to end it on the Wednesday slate here, guys. So that's the Mariners and the Dodgers under seven and a half. We got the Brewers is the small dog barking here with Tobias Myers on the hill, minus 103 over the Redbirds. We got the Colorado Rockies, a little bit bigger dog for you, plus 145 over the Washington Nationals. And the first game we talked here in Petco, last game of the series, Minnesota Twins, San Diego Padres. We got Matt Waldron as the listing starter, minus 116. Think that number's short on the Padres. So, guys, that's going to do it for the Wednesday slate. Premium picks, 5% up and available uh, for Wednesday, 50% off. Wagertalk.com, experts page, Drew Martin. Again, guys, if you could comment below, helps out the algorithm. Smash that like button. Thanks for tuning in. Cash those tickets.